Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to set up DOS games in Defend. So I'll just open up my Defend here, and so I'm going to use Hexen as the example for setting up a game here. Uh, my favorite place to go is myabandonware.com, so I will just go there to download Hexen. You just punch it in the search, or you can do one of the other browse buys there. So, just click the game, click download, it'll always send you to the bottom download button, and there you can actually download the game. So, we'll just wait for that to finish downloading. And I already have this game set up in Defend, but I'll just install it from a different location. So, I've got the file open there, that zip file. And then you need to also open up in the, your personal folder the defend reloaded folder, then go to virtual hard drive. And that's where it by default wants you to place your games. And so you click add, add with wizard, and then there's two options, DOS and Windows. The Windows games is really just to allow you to put your regular games in the same list here. So just use DOS box and then program to be selected. You'll go and select your game. So it'll default right to the virtual hard drive folder. So you select Hexen and then just select Hexen in there. You some games you need to click setup, but most of the time you don't need to. The only time you may need to use this setup file is if the sound isn't working, then you might have to set it up through there. So I've got it selected there, I'll hit next. And then you have a few different template options here. Most Many games they just go with the default template because they don't recognize the game's name. This game though does have a templates pre-set up and so we'll just go with that one and I always go with next so I can make sure I've got the game title the way I want it there then hit OK then it's placed into the list and then you just double click it and it'll launch the game and sorry for how it looks on the screen right now uh, when you do this it'll come up as just a full screen but because I'm playing through a recording here it's going to make the screen flash and uh, and only show the game in a window in the corner, but that's not how it's actually looking for me right now. As you can see, the game is just playing perfectly fine. So the game works perfectly. I'll just Alt-Enter and that puts the game into a window. Fortunately, it stops it from flashing too. And there, I just exit the game. I also want to show you in the edit section here. There's a few different settings you can alter. I'll show you more about this in other videos. But there's the CPU cycles, which you can increase when a game is running too slowly. The emulation core is good for other situations, like simple is good for if the game is running too fast. And simple will allow you to make the emulator act as if it's just running on an old computer and so then it'll run more smoothly. And then there's other settings. Sometimes that activate sound isn't automatically activated for some games so you may have to do that. And there's the uh, other parts here of the sounds which sometimes you could edit. These other settings within the sound category that you don't usually have to alter them at all. Some games they're compatible with the with the DOS 32A extender. This game is, so it has a check mark, and so you can, you can set that up, and you can alter the amount of memory for the game. Most games you really don't need more than 16 megabytes. That's plenty for a DOS game. And then graphics. Most games they just use the SVGA S3 but this one uses a different one and so sometimes you can play around with that if there's any problems 
change the rendering and that's really about it so there you have it that's how you can play games in defend reloaded